Let's take a look how to make this half tone pattern stroke here in Illustrator. Step one, click on the fill, click on the none, and click on the stroke, so it's gonna be on the top. And from here, I'm gonna select the star, press shift plus alt, create a star. Now don't release the mouse. Now press and hold the down arrow twice, so it's gonna make this triangle. Press and hold shift, so it's gonna make it perfectly vertical. Let's go to properties, click on expand shape, and I'm gonna go and select the line tool. And I'm gonna create a line from here all the way down here to this edge. Now also make sure that the stroke is in the center. So right now it's inside. Let's go to the stroke options. And I'm gonna select the line stroke to center. All right, so let's go back to this line. And I'm gonna select the reflect tool. Press and hold alt. Click on this edge anchor point here. Select vertical and click on copy. Now I'm gonna select all the shapes. Press control plus two. So this is going to lock all the shapes. And I'm gonna go and select the pen tool. And I'm gonna click here in the center where they intersect. Click on the edge, again where they intersect. I'm gonna go to the other edge down at the right side. And I'm gonna go and connect it. And I can go and unlock all the layers. So I'm gonna go and deselect this and click on object. Select unlock all. And I'm gonna delete these right here. And from here I'm gonna go and select the uh, rotate tool. And press and hold alt, click on this anchor point. I'm gonna go with 120. Click on copy and press control D to duplicate. So now we got this triangle going on, a right click, click on group and let's select the rotate tool again, press and hold alt, click on this edge and here I'm gonna type in 60. Click on copy, press control D and control D again and again and I'm gonna select all, right click, group and I'm gonna swap it from stroke to fill, click on the fill so it's gonna be on the top and from here let's go to the appearance, click on the effect go to path and select offset path and here I'm going to decrease the offset all the way to minus minus two click OK from here press and hold alt drag it up press and hold shift and I'm going to go back to offset and I'm going to decrease this even more I'm going to try it out with minus five click OK and let's select both let's go to object blend select make if you want to add more copies, you can go here to the blend, double click on it, select specified steps, and here you can increase or decrease the number, but I'm going to go with this, click OK. And I'm going to need to arrange this, I'm going to double click on the top shape, and I'm going to select it, bring it upwards, press and hold shift, and it should look something like this. Select it, go to object, expand appearance, and I'm going to select rectangle, and let's go here to this edge of the triangle where they intersect, and I'm going to create a rectangle right here, and I'm going to go all the way down, and I'm also going to repeat this step at the left side. And now let's go and select this abstract shape, go to object, expand again, click OK, and now I'm going to select these and expand them all the way up. Let's select everything, press Shift plus M, or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool, and now press and hold shift plus alt and just select these unnecessary shapes. So this way is going to remove it. And there you go. So if you create a new copy, you can see it is going to recreate this really cool pattern. So from here, I'm going to go to the brush and drag and drop it into the brush. Let's select pattern brush, click OK. I'm going to click OK. And now I can delete this. Now I'm going to swap it from fill to stroke. Click on the stroke so it's going to be on the top. And I'm going to select this spiral tool. And I'm going to press and hold shift plus alt and I'm going to rotate it. I'm also going to delete some of the parts from the inside, make it more simple. And I'm going to select it. Let's go to the brush and I'm going to select the new brush that I made. And I'm also going to decrease the stroke thickness and let's go to the stroke settings. Let's go to the profile and I'm going to go with this guy right here. So now I can go back to the width and increase it. Or you can go here, press shift plus W. And you can just drag it and make it wider. I'm going to do the same thing here. Shift plus W and make it connect. And that's how I make it. Thanks for watching.